with that being said, I kind of want to ask you, you know, mm-hmm. one of the issues that I think a lot of humans, not just females, but just humans in general have is mm-hmm. we know, right? Like you had this feeling after you got out of the army that the, there was some changes that needed to be made. You know, the freedom wasn't right. You weren't living authentic to yourself. Mm-hmm. What were the steps? Because a lot of times people are like, okay, got it. Got it. Like, I understand mm-hmm. what you're saying, but like, what do I do? Like, how do I get to that point? Am I supposed to read a book? I don't like reading books. Am mm-hmm. I supposed, you know, what are, and maybe a book is the the answer, but what were the things you personally did in the beginning of your journey to get mm-hmm. to where you are now? Like your personal story, what did you do? Yeah, yeah. So, well, relating to, to what I told you about, um, uh, confessing to my best friend, that was that was really the first thing that I was focused on. Uh, not necessarily him, but just focused on just speaking my truth. Yeah. And I said, as hard as it is going to be, I have to do this, you know, and I knew that it was going to, you know, get easier. And he was obviously a big major thing for me, uh, which kind of paved the way for the, all the other stuff that I wasn't saying, which became a lot easier. Yeah. But that was that was really the, the most important thing for me and the most important step. And, and I just started being really honest. Um, I mean, not that I wasn't honest before, I was just not expressing anything. And I just made it um, a goal to just start telling people, you know, exactly what I was thinking and feeling, negative or positive. Um, the negative stuff, um, perhaps I could have... In retrospect, I could have said more gently. <laughs> oh, that's great. But, you know, it's because I was holding on to it for so long and I wasn't, yeah. you know, talking and speaking for so long. That's just how it came out. Um, Did you also do letter writing with that? Um, I, I wrote a letter to him, as I said. Yeah. Um, what about I, don't the remember, other I don't remember that I've written anything significant to other people. No. Okay. Um, uh, but writing in general is one of my passions. So I was absolutely writing a lot just for myself. And that also helped me a lot with just to, um, uh, you know, just also, first of all, become self-aware uh, of a lot of things and also to, yeah, just to kind of, you know, journal and, and see how you are with things and see how things are going and kind of um, become uh, more conscious of how I am being honest and where I'm not being honest and what things I need to work on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can't really tell you any more than that. I think that was the biggest thing for me, just to express myself to people. Uh, that was great. the biggest step for me. The, uh, I mean, I didn't really read any particular books on it or anything. Um, I did have a friend who I found um, kind of an inspiration in a way. I mean, she had her issues and she also came from a very messed up family but she was very expressive and very affectionate and very loving and you know all the stuff that i wanted to be um um, and that i couldn't and um that also really helped me just to kind of you know find that uh, inspiration in people um uh who i who i did know and who were friends Uh, Speaking of books, do you have any books that kind of spark some empowerment in your world that you could recommend? I know you mentioned one. um, Yeah, I mean, that was the one that kind of kicked off the thing for me. Um, I mean, I don't know. (laughs) I mean, it it was kind of a big thing in my life, but I don't know if that's necessarily something I would recommend. It's very old fashioned. It's it's also got some religious references Mm -hmm. in it, which is not my thing at all. Um, But the exercises at the time really resonated with me, just simple things. Um, Wait, didn't you say this book was about hypnosis and then there was self hypnosis in it? Yes, uh, because he kind of refers to like the higher power as God, you know, and there are some like, I don't remember exactly, but th- there are some like uh, Christian sort of quotes out of the Bible or, or you know, wow. every now and then, which are, I, I mean, I don't mind them as such. And I and I can, I can uh, absolutely relate them to, I mean, it's just a label, isn't it? You know, yeah. he, he, he says God and I call it the universe or whatever. And that's yeah. fine. It's just that, that kind of, 
yeah, that just that kind of reference wasn't really my thing. I'm, I'm not religious in any way whatsoever. <laughs> um, <laughs> I totally get that. And it's weird that they were in the same book because that's normally not a thing. So that's interesting to me. Mm, yeah. 